In 2022, I was delighted to be awarded a European Research Council starting grant worth approximately 1.5 million for my project Patterns and Humans. Patterns and Humans is a large five-year interdisciplinary project and as part of the project, I will build a team of researchers including a project manager, postdoctoral researchers, PhD students and together as a team we will examine the core project research question which focuses on what are the bioethical implications posed by patents on technologies related to the human body and how or to what extent are those implications accounted for within the current European patent system. Patents and Humans' ultimate aim is to reconfigure and reconceptualise the patent system so it better engages with those bioethical implications posed by patents and how they are used on technologies related to the human body. In terms of the patent system, a patent on a technology allows the rights holder, which could be the person or the entity such a company, granted the patent, the ability to control how the technology under patent is used for the period of the patent grant, which is generally 20 years. This in turn can have significant implications on how patented technologies are used, how they're accessed, by whom and on what terms. Currently, under the European patent system, the human body itself is not patentable. However, technologies that relate to the body can be patentable. For example, patents are available on technologies that treat the body, such as medicine, on technologies that are integrated with the body, such as medical devices, prosthetic limbs, pacemakers, etc., and on technologies that could be isolated elements from the human body, such as isolated human genes, are patentable in Europe. So patents granted over such technologies pose significant bioethical implications as they can fundamentally affect how we treat, use and modify the human body. Yet such bioethical implications are not directly engaged with by the patent grant or licensing system currently. Patents and Humans' key contribution is to fundamentally challenge this and to try and develop a framework which brings bioethics further within patent grant and licensing decision making for such technologies related to the human body. This has transformative potential for patent law and bioethics. Currently, these disciplines seem to speak past each other in this area. This project aims to try and get them to speak to each other. This European Research Council funding is vital to the success and development of this project. It will enable me to build a team of five researchers to look at these issues which are the cutting edge of science, policy, bioethics and patent decision making. Patents and Humans is high risk and high gain and the ambition and scale of this project is only made possible by this European Research Council funding. However, the analysis it will provide is also urgently needed. It is the potential to make Europe a global agenda setter in how bioethical issues are considered in patent grant and licensing of technologies related to the human body.